Alright guys, welcome to another beer review. Got to keep it quick because I've got a hangout going on. And um, yeah, pretty much last beer of the night. So I want to get this one enjoyed. And uh, we're going back over to Sweden to the Omnipio Brewery. And uh, yeah, you can't really see that artwork as well. And it's absolutely gorgeous artwork by the way. Uh, really low quality video but when is the Kalua Stringer video ever high quality? But uh, yeah, today we're looking at a bottle of the Leon Belgian Pale Ale, clocking in at 6.5% in a fringe of the Vemo bottle. Beautiful artwork, once again, from Carl Grandin, I believe. Uh, very striking indeed. I think it's actually uh, painted or screen printed onto the bottle itself. Uh, I'd love that. Uh, as like a print. I'm not sure if it is available. Uh, you will have seen by the uh, thumbnail a much better version of this artwork, but I'm going to put a link down below to uh, an image of it if I remember. But uh, yeah, a Belgian Pale Ale, 6.5%. Uh, I picked this up from Beretta a little while back. Great to see that they're stocking some Omnipio, which is always welcome because I'm a big fan of the brewery. But um, I, being here in Germany, the uh, best bet for me was going through something like Beer Jump, which I only did once. Um, but now that some of their beers are available here in Germany, um, I mean, you could get stuff like Anagram and uh, some of the bigger ones. I'm sure I saw Lorelei as well available in some parts of Germany, uh, especially more towards like Berlin, where it seems to be all happening. Um, but yeah fantastic stuff and from what I remember uh, not that expensive to be honest but anyway a Belgian pale ale not had too many of those but uh, when you see an Omnipio for a good price you've just got to pick it up even if you're either not a big fan of the style or if you're not too familiar with the style uh, the Belgian pale ale that sticks out to me, or Belgian style pale ale that sticks out to me right now, I'm not going to pour any more in because I've produced a massive head and I can smell the beer from here already, uh, would be uh, Stone Berlin's Cali Belgique, or Belgique, which was uh, an interesting beer. Um, not the biggest fan of Belgian style beers, but um, I do like a good pale ale. And uh, yeah, it's Omnipio, so it's going to be interesting to say the least. So a beer in a glass then, and that is a lovely sort of golden colour. Is that a pubic hair stuck to my glass? That's weird. Um, no, it's not. I think it's a cat hair. Um, but yeah. Golden appearance, uh, quite hazy. There's like a lovely cloud of sedimentation. Of course, the only time you get really good lighting for a beer is when it's dark, so the video is going to look shit, especially when it's blown up onto a laptop screen. But also uh, because I'm holding it directly to a, a lamp and uh, it's illuminated absolutely beautifully, which of course means it's off camera and you're just seeing a dark, murky mess. But take my word for it. It's a lovely sort of like golden, slightly amber colour, nice, uh, almost like twister um, of sedimentation in the middle. It really is like a tornado in a glass. Absolutely mesmerising. Uh, let's see if I can get better light on this one. There we go. Uh, yeah, beautiful looking there indeed. Beer poured with about one finger's worth of a fluffy white head. So let's give it a sniff. Rancheries through pastels straight away. It's got this lovely spicy fruity note. I'm guessing that spiciness is coming from the Belgian aspect of the beer, uh, especially from that yeast. But yeah, a little bit of orange, a little bit of lemon lime, that sort of thing. Not overtly tropical or anything like that, but you do get slight hints of that. Lovely grapefruit aroma in there, maybe a hint of blood orange. But yeah, it's got that lovely sort of like confectionery sugar, sherbetty, jelly sweet character to it. 
a very vibrant smelling beer, not overly punchy, but not overly earthy or spicy. Got a lovely light aroma to it, very springy, if that makes sense. Yeah, it smells lovely. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. They're setting off fireworks outside. Interesting. Uh, yeah, beer in the glass then. Lovely, gentle, spicy tones. A little bit herbaceous, maybe a slight hint of coriander in there. It's got that lovely jelly sweet uh, flavour to it. Not in um, a really synthetic sense, but it sort of reminds me of like a candied fruits covered in confectionery sugar, almost. Lovely grapefruit tone in there, and you get a very nice grapefruit bitterness, uh, blending really nicely with the um, the spiciness coming from the yeast character. But it doesn't taste really yeasty, if that makes sense. It's got more of that like sort of like bread dough sort of character, or maybe um, when you've got a bit of bread crust and there's maybe a little bit of flour on there. That's the sort of flavour that I'm getting. So well rounded. There's nothing punchy, offensive, or like demanding your attention in there. But it's got a real sense of vibrancy. Loads of character. Very easy drinking. And at 6.5%, you're not getting that at all. It's got a lovely upper medium mouthfeel to it. Very drinkable, very crushable. A lovely little beer. And um, yeah, Omnipio strikes again because this is a really lovely beer. And uh, a lovely beer to end the night on. Uh, as I'm talking now, lovely grapefruit esque bitterness coming up on the back end. A little bit dry, but at the same time, I'm salvating, which makes me want to go for another sip, <laughs> which is what I'll do before I rate the beer. Mm, yeah, lovely like pe white peppery notes in there, lovely prickly zinginess in there, citrus characters by the bucket load. Not really tropical, but you get those sort of like blood orange flavours, even though I don't think blood orange is tropical at all. But um, yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. Lovely beer. If I pour a little bit more in, give it a bit of a twist, pour the rest in. Happy days. let it finish. Probably shook it up a bit too much there. But uh, yeah, little bits and bobs, but not many. But that sedimentation tornado is absolutely wonderful. A little bit more sherbet now. Lovely beer, a very pleasant surprise. So my rating for Omnipoyo's Leon, which is a Belgian style pale ale. Uh, not sure where this is brewed because I can't read the writing on the bottle. But uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful artwork and a lovely, lovely beer. So, in terms of rating, then, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, fantastic beer to end the night on. So, if you've tried this one, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Uh, if any of my friends or people I follow on a regular basis have reviewed this, their reviews are included. Uh, check out Omnipio, check out my Omnipio playlist as well, and of course check out Beretta from uh, from whom I purchased this beer from. And uh, yeah, more importantly, I hope you join me next time for another beer review. I haven't really drank that much, but I'm feeling a little bit merry, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.
Cheers. See you later.